Welcome back to Midco Sports tonight. Uh, spring football going on all over the area right now. Uh, spring games coming up later this month. We will be in Brookings on Friday, April 20th to bring you live coverage this year of the South Dakota State University spring game. The Jacks coming off their best season ever. 11 wins, a trip to the FCS National Semifinals, where no, it did not end all that well. But uh, the Jacks will lose Dallas Goddard and Jake Winicky, but they'll bring back plenty on offense and should have a defense that will be led by three returning linebackers, including Logan Backus, who made the Missouri Valley all newcomer team last year as a redshirt freshman. Um, after putting all that work in in the winter, um, lifting, early mornings, uh, conditioning, it feels good to actually get back out here, get a helmet on, um, get some balls going around. During the offseason, we did a lot of lifting and conditioning. Me personally, it was to get stronger in the bench press. Um, that's something I need to focus on with my upper body. Um, I know a lot of guys hit some personal records in the weight room. We had really good effort every single day. I know in the linebacker group, our grades were really good. Everyone's putting in work, and you can see the results. Now that we have four or five guys that know what they're doing, it helps get the younger guys up to speed quicker. Just knowing how good of a season we had last year and still losing one game short of the national championship, like that just burns a hole in you. That, that's a desire that you need to get back there. You need to do more. Um, and that's just dr driven our whole team. And everyone knows that. Even the guys that didn't play last year, they know like how close we were, but everyone knows that's not good enough. And we got to change our mentality during practice. We got to treat every practice like a game. We can't uh, be like, oh, it's practice. I can loaf. I can not run to the ball. We need to be getting after the ball, getting turnovers. Like in the last game, the turnovers were a big part of the game. Out of these spring reps, I'm just trying to master my craft, um, especially man coverage. We have a lot of man coverage in. I'm going against some of the quickest slot receivers in the Missouri Valley with Marquise Lewis, Kay Johnson. Uh, Deion Campbell's a freshman coming in strong. Um, they're making me work every day. They have some of the quickest routes I've seen. And if I can guard them, then I can guard anyone in the Missouri Valley. Like that's the kind of mentality we have. Like if we go in against the best receivers in the Missouri Valley, then we're going to be the best coverage in the Missouri Valley. And they will have some very good young receivers coming up to try and make everybody forget about Goddard and Winicky. The Jacks uh, have scrimmages coming up the next two Friday evenings and then their spring game on Friday, April 20th. And again, we'll have that game live here this year on Midco Sports Network. Weather permitting that uh, spring game will be outside at Dana J. Dykehouse Stadium. Otherwise, it will be inside at the SJAC, the indoor facility at SDSU. That's where the Jacks just hosted Pro Day last Friday. We talked about Goddard and Winicky and Chris Strebler last week. Didn't get to some of the other prospects, including uh, Jacob Onisorgi and Kellen Solik, those linemen for the Jacks. They worked alongside uh, off Augustana offensive lineman Sam Lee here. And for these guys, there is a very good chance that they will get an opportunity coming up as an NFL free agent. I wouldn't say nervous. I, I don't get nervous about a lot of things, but uh, more just a uh, bigger opportunity because coming out here, don't have much to lose, uh, but a lot to gain, obviously. So uh, more just come out and show yourself and uh, hopefully do well in everything. I, I felt pretty good throughout the whole day. Uh, hopefully hear more after, after today, um, but up until then, I haven't heard much. I went to an all-star game back in January and uh, talked to a couple teams there, but hasn't. it's been kind of a dead period training and stuff. So. Uh, Hopefully it'll pick up more uh, throughout the ne this next month and figure out when the draft day comes. Now the draft is coming up April 26th. It's seven rounds, 256 players are chosen, and Solik probably not among those 256, but could be a Sunday call, as one coach puts it, a guy that will get a ring after the draft to come in and try to make a team as a free agent. We wish him well. Another spring story when we come back. This one from the University of South Dakota. And he's not a name that Coyote fans know yet, but Devalon Whitcomb is working to make it so.